Thanks. You got it? Go for We're it. going? All Sorry. Right. Um, we've, peace movement, been there. People have heard about direct action, civil disobedience, and are excited about this Poor People's Campaign, a national call for moral revival. And hearing about what you mean now, what we're thinking about now as nonviolent moral fusion direct action, that new terminology for a new moment, just speak a little bit about that vision for now and tomorrow. Well, I think you're seeing a fusion right here when you see us. Uh, you see you know, a male, uh, a preacher, female, a northern girl uh, who has immigrant roots, a southern boy who was born in the southern church, but recognizing that we are all impacted by five interlocking issues, systemic racism, systemic poverty, ecological devastation, the war economy, militarism, and this false moral narrative. And fusion means we can't just have campaigns on just one issue, that we have to interlock, and we have to make, understand that these issues are interlocked, and that oftentimes the very forces that promote or empower systemic racism, systemic poverty, are the same forces. Same forces that promote the ecological devastation, military and the war economy are the same forces. And as I said some time ago, if they are cynical enough to be together, we've got to be smart, courageous, and moral enough to come together. And the, the idea of, of nonviolent moral fusion direct action is that we believe we need a, a season of organizing together, of educating together, of mobilizing together, of registering people to vote together. Um, and so we can break through the distorted moral narrative that blames poor people and people of color for our problems, that divides us mm -hmm. on all the lines that they try to divide and divert us, and that a, a distorted moral narrative that claims that there is scarcity when we're really living in a, a, in a world and a land of abundance, and that the issues of our day, issues like the right to health care, the right to living wage jobs, voting rights um, to their fullest, uh, the right for all kids to get a great and decent education, that these are the real issues of our day and that we are willing to put our bodies on the line and, and, and risk what we need to to be able to, to change the narrative and to build the power of people from below. And so some issues are not left and right, they're just wrong, <laughs> just immoral. Uh, they're not, they don't have equal weight. Um, they, they can't be, you know, equally compared. Um, it's not just bad policy, it's immoral. And it's, it doesn't just hurt a small um, remnant of the society. They, in fact, hurt us all. For instance, racism, systemic racism votes, but it doesn't just hurt black people. It's not just anti-black, it's anti-democracy itself. And that's what we say. So we have white people who are talking as clearly about racism as black people are talking about what's happening to white people in Appalachia and Kentucky in other areas. And when we begin to do that and come together, that is what ultimately the extremists and the oligarchy fear. They don't necessarily fear us in our silos, but they fear us in our togetherness. Uh, and they fear it not only because they, they can be defeated and we can turn things around, but they'll have to change. And that's our hope, that not only will we win and, ch and challenge injustice, but through this moral fusion movement rooted in deep love, deep truth, and deep um, concern, we'll actually see many of the people who may have been voting against their own interests uh, turn around and be marching with us and doing direct action with us and changing the nation with us. And we'll be welcoming to that because fusion has to be welcoming to all people who are willing to come in. Amen. Thank you we so much, Honored Amber. to be part of the 1968 campaign, and we are thrilled to be standing with you and building with you today. Thank you, my friend. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you, brother. All right. Thank All right. You. Thank you.